So hi, uh, this is the Polyglot Engineer channel. I wanted to do a quick video tonight talking about uh, the uh, newer import syntax that's available in, uh, in Node, uh, Node.js, um, and how you can use it to import uh, native modules. So I ran across this issue the other day. I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, uh, one of the things that has been uh, one of the cool features that was recently added into uh, Node.js was this ability to use the import-export syntax that comes with, um, you know, essentially uh, uh, the newer versions of Node. So if you have Node 14 or uh, Node 15 as an example, both of those versions uh, allow to use the, the newer module syntax. So let's take a quick look and see what this looks like. So if you're familiar at all with uh, doing imports, uh, bringing in modules in uh, into Node.js, one of the things you're, you're probably used to seeing is this require. And this is actually part of common JS, right? And so in this example right here, uh, I'm calling this uh, weather service. I'm using Axios, and then I'm telling it to, to get the weather. So if I come down here and I say node example, it's going to call this, and I get the I get the weather back. So if we take a look at the package.json, if I want to use the newer syntax, the import syntax, right now, uh, by default, if you don't set this uh, type attribute here in the uh, package.json, it'll just automatically be common JS, right? So what you can do is you can come over here, and we can, we're going to change this so that it's module instead of common JS, and now it's going to use the, the module syntax. So if I come back to this file right here and I try to run this, we get an error. It says required is uh, not defined and uh, because it's looking for the newer syntax. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to write, instead of require, we're going to say import Axios and we're going to say from and we don't need to get this require anymore. It's not necessary. So now we're importing that syntax. I'm going to save that, and we'll try running this again. And boom, now it's working fine. So in here, we're actually using the import syntax. So the problem I ran into is that if you're using native modules, uh, the import syntax won't work. And I was kind of scratching my head trying to figure out how can I, how I can get this to work. So in this example right here, uh, I'm actually using the uh, TALib or the Technical Analysis Library. This is something you can use for analyzing a historical uh, stock price data, as an example here. And you can see here we're using the, the require syntax. This is a common JS. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to run, or I'm going to rewrite this so that it's using the import syntax. And I'm going to do the same thing here. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to try importing this in. And we'll say import. And just to make sure that it's uh, you know working properly, once we import that in, I'll try to call this uh, log the version for the TA library. So I'm going to save that. And let's try running this. And I get an error. It says unknown file extension. And the reason for that is if we actually go here and take a look at the, the node modules as an example, and I go into talib as an example, we can see here that this is actually a native module. And it's created this file here called talib.node. So if we want to be able to use this, but we also want to use the newer module syntax that's available to us in Node.js, there's a way to get around that. And this is basically how we're going to do this. So if I come over here, instead of saying import, I'm going to go back to the way this was before. I'm going to say const talib is equal to require. So now you're probably saying to yourself, well, how can you use the require syntax and the import syntax inside the same module? Well, this is the workaround. If you actually go through and take a look at the, uh, the node uh, documentation as an example, one of the things that we can do is we can actually import in the old require statement. So I'm going to destructure this. I'm going to say create require. And we're going to say from the module. 
So now we're importing in that module. And now that we've imported the module, we have to do one more thing. Uh, we actually have to create the require method. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to say const require. It's going to be equal to create require. And inside that method, I'm actually going to import, pass in the import dot meta dot url which gives it the paths it needs or the base path that it needs in order to be able to use that now all this require syntax should work so let's save this and try running this and see what happens and that worked so that's all you have to do so if you'd like to see more content like this, please give me a thumbs up. That helps the uh, YouTube algorithm. And uh, please, if you like, you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscribe button, and uh, I'll be making more videos like this. Have a nice evening.